Roblox has been around for 16 years, and throughout that time, there's been many historical moments and achievements never before seen in gaming. So we're gonna cover all of them, starting with the first ever Roblox game. While it may not seem like much, Rocket Arena was a huge step for Roblox games as a whole. The goal was to shoot rockets at enemies, pioneering some of the famous fighting games we know and love today. But with new games comes new glitches, because in the same year, players found a way to fly in any competitive game. By placing a block on yourself in Dragonet, you got yourself a mini plane. But players got curious and thought, what if I fly non -stop? Stop. By constantly using the same flag glitch from before, your game will eventually bug out as well as your player. Because whenever you go too far away from 000, Roblox can't process your game anymore. This even works nowadays, making this moment pretty significant. But if you think that's weird, let's time travel a year and a half later, where Roblox mistakenly made everyone admin, allowing randoms to ban innocent players. The forums went insane, but this was fixed. Moving on from that strange moment, a few months later, players found a way to modify any game without an exploit client, somehow with t shirts. So basically, what he did is he found some kind of exploit with the XML um, programming language and the Roblox t-shirts where he was able to enter his own script when he uploaded the t-shirt. Now, I have no idea how he got this. This gave you free expensive items and power-ups in games. Items like these still exist, which kind of scares me. But what's even more scary is how this next part would have ruined the economy. In 2010, buying Builders Club would give you 15 Robux daily, but by moving your computer date forward, you would receive thousands of Robux instantly. It was fixed right before DevX was added, so Roblox dodged a big bullet. It's around this time where Roblox expanded to more devices, but with this came a pretty funny glitch. You can make very long and annoying account names if you were on mobile, but by far the greatest moment so far is definitely the first Roblox convention. Thousands of players got together in real life, and they also met the owner in person. This shows how dedicated the community was, and it shows the game's potential in the future. But for every hero's journey, there must be an obstacle. The wildest moment took place here, and you might know why. A bunch of hackers attacked Roblox in April fools. They compromised accounts, illegally obtained expensive items, and had the entire website in lockdown. They even posted these scary items on Roblox's account. And to think this all started because an admin got hacked. So, uh, be careful, guys. Trading was just introduced, and like always, players would find unintended bugs. By selling an item someone traded to you, it'll appear as their name on the market, possibly giving them free Robux. But if you really want to make some profit, hear me out. Loot Boy is a great way to win items from your favorite games. By getting diamonds in the app, you can buy a premium loot pack with special items, including Robux from the Roblox pack. And if you search it up, you can actually find my own pack that gives you a chance of winning 10,000 Robux and all these rewards. And I actually want a gift card, what are the odds? And if you actually redeem it, boom. You get the money. There's even a jackpot where you might win 10,000 diamonds. But for every pack you open, the jackpot increases by one. And just like in Roblox, you can make friends through the chat radar, which finds you a friend with similar likes. The app has over 15 million users, so I'd say you have a chance. Finally, the golden cards give you a free Steam game, full version on PC, or Steam credits. And personally, these two are my favorites. Check out Loot Boy for free with the link below on PC, or on iOS and Android. You can even use my code for a free community loot pack with diamonds, coins, and more. We're now in 2014, where Roblox is starting to get more meta. In June of that year, Roblox chose the Bacon Hairs, the default avatar, and honestly, I couldn't agree more. If Roblox had a main character, it would be this. Players also found a game-breaking glitch called corner clipping. If you're an R6, go to a wall, position your camera like this, press shift, and there you go. And let's not forget that time when the forums found a way to be invisible. By simply making your avatar all white, you will be incognito. But despite it being fixed, players still continuously find invisible glitches. DevX was added a while ago, allowing devs to make bank. In the middle of 2014, developer the Gamer 101 cashed out 10 grand, which makes him the first person to make real-life money from Roblox. Absolute W, give him some likes. 2016 was the sad year for the community. Although Roblox turned 10 years old, Tix, the second form of Robux, was permanently removed, which led to a short memorial. But this didn't stop Roblox from growing and innovating, because in the same year, the player count went through the roof. With newfound popularity, great moments were a lot more common. At the very end of December, players somehow found a way to dupe account names. And you know what? Why not try this out myself? Wait, what's that sound? We'd also see another logo change, as well as a boom in game quality, but none of them were more popular than Jailbreak at the time. The goal was to escape as a criminal and rob the city, but some players didn't like taking L's, so they found a glitch where if you're wearing these outfits, you will crawl at light speed, making the game a lot easier. In 2018, players may have found the greatest Roblox glitch. All you need is a friend. Player A stands by the wall and player B is behind them. Player B will run and jump on your head, then you both hold space, causing both of you to fly infinitely. We'd also have the first game three a billion visits, making this a W year. About a year later, the most creative Roblox game was made. Roblox? 
but it's inside Roblox. You heard that right. Somehow you were able to control a player live on a computer from another server. This shocked everyone. And the best part is, this was before videos were added in Roblox. In the exact same year, Roblox's greatest mystery started. A player by the name of Azu joined Roblox, which happened to be the billionth user. The fact that a game achieved such a milestone is great, but things got strange fast. The account randomly vanished forever. Players thought it was password guess, cause not too long before, the account made this game. A strange black and white park. But despite this oddity, it's still incredible seeing a number like this being broken. But if you really want impressive numbers, let's move on to 2020. The biggest game Adopt Me released, Pets, which for the first time in history, got a game to a million live players. But if you thought that was impressive, check out this game that had voice chat when it wasn't even added. The game gives you a website that allows you to record your voice, then it'll be broadcasted to the server. All of you are fat. Players also found a game with a player limit way, way higher than the max. 100 million, like how? Like see for yourself. Imagine if Mr. Beast did a raid here. 2021 was when competitive games stole the spotlight, like Tower of Hell, a series of parkour that only the best can master. But some players thought, what if I just beat the entire game with one jump? And while some play normally, Linus over here built a $10,000 PC just to play some Roblox Arsenal. But none of those can even compare to the next one. In March 2022, Fredo won a thousand Bedwars games in a row, the first 1000 win streak. But this was not the only time where Bedwars players made history. They also found a way to have an infinite win streak. If your teammate lobbies, then you slash lobby after. Your teammate will lose your streak while you keep it. But it's patched. Moving on a few months, Roblox released the most meta update. In Roblox Studio, you can use animation capture, which basically does this. This will definitely change the game for animators. But that wasn't the only thing that's game changing. Welcome to the world of Roblox Piano. It basically translates your keyboard into notes. It's pretty much impossible to master, like am I right guys? This guy's playing a song that's meant to be impossible, somehow in Roblox. Even the song owner was amazed, but this next moment puts that to shame. The Roblox game Bloxburg was sold for a low price of $100 million. Yeah, not bad for a little Lego game. Around this time, the biggest games would involve the element of luck, so we're bound to have insanely lucky moments, like in Blocks Fruits. Better fruits have a smaller chance of being in stock, but this guy somehow found a stock with the three best fruits. This guy in Petsamax hatched the rarest pet in the game from an egg that costs Robux, and the best for last, this player indoors got three spiders at once, each having a one in 200 chance of spawning. This right here is one of the richest players. What is the greatest moment you've ever witnessed? I saw Hazem in game, I joined him, and then he asked me to make a shirt that costs 10 million Robux. When he actually bought it, my heart dropped. I mean, it's like $35,000 if you convert it into real money, but I'm spending all of it on giving back and for some insane videos in the future. Hazem is only 16 years old, so who knows what he's gonna do in the future. Speaking of the future, a Roblox game was made that's way ahead of its time. Welcome to Frontlines. The game was in development for two years, and let's just say the wait was worth it. It's possibly the most beautiful game on Roblox, resembling high quality shooter games like Modern Warfare. The game was praised by the community, but if there's one thing better than realism, it's games that are AI generated. This game's builds, gameplay, idea, and even icon are all inspired by ChatGPT, the smartest internet robot. But is it actually good? Alright, give me a fact about Roblox. I actually didn't know that. Oh, give me a compliment, AI. I mean, I don't trust these things, but... I don't know what that means, but thanks anyways. But why fuss about a game made with an internet bot, when this game here literally is the internet? Not only can it control a player live, it also shares your entire screen. Games like this let you watch YouTube and Roblox, surf the web in Roblox, and more. This has actually been around for a while, but it constantly evolves. Going back to the origins, it's incredible seeing a simple LEGO game progress so much, and I kinda wanna play a part. At a million subs, I'm gonna do something huge, so consider subscribing to find out. But for now, that's a wrap.